Now, Schneider is a student of Jugento. He also emphasized the importance of presence. Okay. So this is how he described presence. The presence is one here how you express presence. I'll be here with you, for you, as long as I can be of help to you. So that is his posture, say, I'm here for you, but I'm not doing things to you, but I'm here with you. Do you see the difference? Why say I'm do, I'll, do some, I'll do some intervention to you, you're an object, I'm the therapist, I'm doing something to you, but person means say, I'm here with you, I'm here for you. I'm here as long as I can be of help to you when you have to do the hard work of finding your own solution, finding yourself, finding your way. So this is a different identity, okay? Second, he's echoing, he's echoing uh, Roger. See, I want to provide a safe place so you're free to be yourself. You're free to be your ugly self. As long as it don't hit me in my nose. <laughs> this is still boundary there. Uh, still boundary there. Eh? <laughs> you're free to yourself. As long as it don't hit me. Eh? It's going to attack me. Eh? It's going to hide anything. You're free to be yourself. And the final thing is the presence and breathe the entire therapeutic process. Whether you're talking or not talking, whatever you do, you keep in mind that your presence is the therapy. Okay? So any question about Schneider? Okay, now go back to the, the question. Go back to the point of choice. Now I'll test you now, see what you got it right, yeah? Uh, uh, how much time? Uh, you look, you, you look partial, I said. Not me? No. No, no, I'm saying that uh, I'm just, I've just concluded my lecture part. So I'm now giving, giving you the, show you the question again to see how much, how much you got it right or right, wrong. Now, now, now go back to the, Go back to the modern child question. The pre-test earlier, so now you see how many things, how many times I got it right, I got it wrong. Okay, thank you. Okay. Now, okay, now see how many I got it right, I got it wrong, okay, the first one. So, what are the wrong answers? Is there any wrong answer here? Everything but T. Huh? Is there any wrong? Is there wrong, any wrong answer here? T. 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 B. T. 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 <laughs> Big wrong. D. D. is one. Some say D. Some say D. Some say D. Did wrong. Quite did wrong. Remember Heidegger. Heidegger says that to be authentic. You have to discover yourself mm -hmm. and have the courage to stay alone rather than choose the easy path or part of the consumer society as uh, part of the the norm of the society, right? You don't discover your true self. You'll be part of the crowd. It's right. 
So in this question, there are no right answers. Oh, wow. So I trick you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not B? You'll not be happy with yourself? Well, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, there, okay. Uh, B? Right. Okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. See, that one is a double negative with three equal, right? So, yeah. There are many theories for happiness, okay? You do this, you do that, you do that. But from an existential perspective, you cannot be truly happy, you cannot have lasting happy without being at peace, being comfortable in your own skin. Even though you're comfortable in your own skin, it's too much for you, but you cannot escape. Even if you go to China, India, and everywhere, you stay within your own skin, right? You can't escape yourself. That's a problem, right? So you cannot find happiness until you learn to accept and embrace yourself. Because that's me. Not too pretty, not too bright. But I'm happy with myself. So until you come to the point of total self-acceptance, my friend, you'll be, you cannot be truly happy. You got a point? Right? So all the answers are correct here. Tricky. Huh? Tricky. So I trick you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So don't trust me, don't trust me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I trick you, huh? You expect that that's doing really wrong. But not necessarily, not necessarily, that's for me, you know. I see that. Now, who answer is wrong? Oh, is that answer wrong? With any part? C. Yeah. Which right answer? Which ones are right? Which ones are right or which ones are wrong? Well, it's the same about which ones are wrong, but uh, by, by elimination, right? To do a multiple choice, you eliminate. So what would be, what's the first one you want to eliminate? C. 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 B. I don't I don't I have B. I have B. I have B. I have B. and C as wrong. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think yeah. theology is part of your healing process, right? <laughs> like you turn your stories into a little struggle. Yeah. But do you need it to leave a. So, so now, <laughs> if you accept that a true is a process. <laughs> Then you, you never arrive, right? There's always something wrong with you, cannot be fixed, right? Right, yeah. yeah. So, so be right. wrong, right? Right. You, you don't need to fix all, yeah. all your problems yeah. you yeah. Yeah. Home, right? So, remember I said there are no perfect human beings. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's no, I mean, there is a proof that I'm not perfect, right? <laughs> there are no perfect human beings. There are no human being without any brokenness. There's always some brokenness. You cannot fix all the broken places, okay? Cannot. We must have started a fact, okay? Okay, next question. Which one is wrong one? Uh, come on, uh, which one is there anything, anything wrong here? C. C. Is it C and no anxiety? No. Yeah. Um, is that anything for, no. For wrong? I would say maybe C is just called C. A. Isn't A wrong? Isn't A humanistic? No, I, no I forget all the differences. But existential psychology is really about human existence. About human existence, of course. Right. It's obvious, right? I mean, existence is about existence. I mean, it's, 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 it's self-evident, right? Yeah. What, the, what is the existence of ecology is a concern about human existence, right? They also are concerned about human condition, right? Mm -hmm. So part of the existence therapy is how people to become aware 
and accept the human condition, which involve include human foibles, human weaknesses, right? Mm -hmm. Human finality, mm -hmm. well, mortality, evil, present evil. Those part of the human condition. I mean, everywhere the human being, they, they are evil, right? Everywhere they're human, they are conflict. So these are simply the reality of the human condition. So as a, as a therapist, you accept all that as a reality to building a better life, right? Now, see which see right or wrong. <laughs> How do you say the right? Two C's there. Two C's. 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 I don't, think you, I don't think you need to enjoy, yeah, the frustration. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. yeah. What, what the right answer? Right answer? Uh, if you, you don't enjoy, how do you do? You accept it, you, you accept it. deal with it. Yeah, accept it. You accept yeah. everything. Yeah. Now, how many people know the Bible story about the sea? And I have a, a, a truly sad day, but I'll give you a mini sermon anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the Bible story about the seed? And let the seed eat what? Into the ground. Into the ground. Mm -hmm. And, and die. And die. Yeah. And struggle. Yeah. Right. It cannot what? Grow. Or reproduce. Huh? Can't grow. Can't grow, right? right? The same principle apply to you and to clients. Right? Oh, it's too hard. Too bad, baby. That's life. <laughs> what? No, nobody, nobody enjoys suffering except those masochistic. Huh? No one enjoys suffering. But if you want to grow, you have to accept and embrace anxiety. Okay. So, do, do you agree? Right. So, C is the wrong answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're crazy to enjoy anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> but there are some people that I think do. Well, I, no, yeah. there's, there's, there's something wrong. There's something wrong. Yeah, right? something wrong. Yeah. Because, because both people will do a little. Live with it, right? Yeah. And overcome that or accept it. You don't say, oh, I'm yeah. So, see then would be pain sublimation? Huh? Pain and pleasure? What? See would then be pain sublimation, turning pain into pleasure. Right. Uh, <laughs> turn the pain into wisdom. Turn pain, turn the pain into strength, not pleasure. <laughs> Pain is never pleasurable, right? unless you are masochistic, right? You can talk to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about common sense here, right? The pain, the, the pain is not so pleasurable. But pain is necessary. Pain is necessary for growth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not pleasurable. Right, right. Okay, everyone agrees with me. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Okay, the last one, the last slide now, right? Oh, the single last slide. Uh, is there any wrong answer here? Yeah, Which one is wrong? A. 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 Why is wrong? Oh. Why, why A is wrong? You can't do anything wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh mate. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you have to accept consequences and responsibility. Yeah, but, but yeah. I mean, in, in a real world... It's free that, that's part of being free. Yeah, it's free, you have to accept that too, so... In, well, in, 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 a, in a real world, even if you are a small brand, yeah. you still cannot do anything you want. There are limitations, incredible limitations of being a human being, right? 
uh, A is important. <laughs> the A is a, is a wrong wrong concept about freedom. Okay? You cannot do anything you want. Okay? Their, their ethical restraints, their physical restraints. How about B? It's wrong. It's right or wrong? Wrong, wrong. Oh, poor Radha, they say you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and poor Franco, they say you are wrong. Both Raja and Franco is correct because the only area of freedom is freedom of attitude. You can. You can. Remember? Think about that. Think about that. Raja says you have to have a positive view of the client of accepting positive regard. If you have unconditional positive regard for your client, why can't you have that for yourself? If you cannot offer yourself unconditional part regard, you cannot do that with your clients. Mm -hmm. Right? So B is the correct one. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So isn't that more about discerning though than, than uh, you know, if I went around and I only thought of every single thing about myself in a positive way and every single thing about everything in a positive way. Mm -hmm. I know there's a certain amount of love and discerning that you have to do. Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, I know you're okay. There are, two, there are two ways of being positive, okay? One is a naive way, mm -hmm. okay? The positive psychology way is naive, okay? Oh, I mean positive, wait a minute. Leave out the evil, leave the dark side. But there is the right way. The existential way. The existential way is I know my weakness. I know the toughness. But, the big but there, I choose to be positive that in spite of it all, I can make it. In spite of it all, I can move forward. In spite of it all, I can make things out of my life. So the existential way of being positive is fully cognizant of the realities of the human condition. Remember? We talked about earlier, right? So that's how the that's differences, okay? One is the existential way of being positive, one is the naive way of being positive. Yeah. Can you just repeat that? Huh? About like the whole <laughs> What you just said about um, the existential way of being positive. Of being positive, yeah. Yeah. It's the acceptance of like all. It's recognizing being aware of mm -hmm. the darkness of human condition and the potential for evil in human nature. Mm -hmm. That you have potentiality for good and for evil. Mm -hmm. The part of psychology, naive part of psychology, only talk about the positive. Leave up. Raja has some problem. Raja say, oh, I've never met a bad person. I, mean, I don't know where he lives. Okay? I've never met a, a, a wicked person. Come on, come on, be real. Right? There are, uh, people are the most dangerous animals. You know? <laughs> if, you, if you say you've never met a, a dangerous person, you must live in, in, in fantasy, in, in paradise. Okay? Sorry, Raja. Raja said that about you. And uh, 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 Royal Mayor said that about you. I, I agree with Royal Mayor. Okay. Uh, and the and other thing is wrong. Is anything else wrong? Uh, you just, you just take a, I have E as wrong. E as wrong. E as wrong. Mm -hmm. The B is wrong. So, so B. Uh, B, B is not wrong. No. A and B. A is wrong and E is wrong, right? Yeah. If you just if you just, if you just learn from my wife that that we cannot completely free ourselves from cultural influence, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Now this is what uh, what Franco said that that we are free up to a degree. You know, My English is not perfect, you know why? Because it influenced by Chinese language, right? My vocal cords trained in Chinese language. 
so I cannot speak proper English. My, my habit also partly shaped by my culture. So, so you, you are not bound by them, you're not deterred by them, but you're partially influenced by them. Your, your, your thought patterns, your values are partially shaped by your culture. So therefore, when you work with client, your real client is a person in the world, highly like I say, being in the world. You always view the person as someone in a in the world that means in a historical, social, cultural context. Right? It is never something in vacuum. We are always part of a social cultural context. And partially influenced by that by the forces. So how many people get hundred percent? Right. Is anybody got hundred percent correct? Patricia? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm like, uh, the, the, the whole, all, for all the questions, how many people get 100 percent correct? Nobody. How many people get 90 percent? Good, good. That's good enough. Man. We all have some trick questions there, right? So sorry for the trick questions, but 90 percent very good. Okay, I'll I'll see my lecture. See you tomorrow. Okay. okay.